Hey guys, it's David from mdbootstrap.com. In this video, we're gonna learn how to use SideNav. So this amazing component from Material Design, which you might know from your Gmail account or other Google services like Google APIs, Google Analytics, or websites like ours. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's navigate to mdbootstrap.com, go to Bootstrap 5 section, so the newest Bootstrap, and then search for SideNav. Now, in this documentation, you're going to see a lot of different examples uh, which you uh, may want to use on your page. So let's start with the very basic example. So the side nav is the side navigation which can easily collapse and disappear. So this is this is very basic and very, very generic uh, example. Let's see others. Uh, we can have different different positioning. What I mean by that? Positioning means uh, what, it, what is the position of the content Mm, in relation to our side nav. So we here we can have push. So basically our side nav will push content to the right. We can have side. So it doesn't change. Um, it, it doesn't push. So it's not going more to the right, right? You can see here. So in the push, we have this extra scroll over here. So it's pushing entire side to the right while in the side version it doesn't push to the right i mean it pushes from the left but the right margin right side remains the same and we just wrapping our content making it more narrow like here right now we have three lines one two three and now we have four while in case of push it's always remaining three lines so it doesn't narrow the container doesn't change the size of the container and finally version which is over so we have um, side nav which is going over our content so it might hide some of the content behind now what we can also do with our side nav we can change and easily adjust colors so now if you can see we have secondary here if i change it to warning then color scheme will change so same as with all other uh, MDB components, you can use teaming to easily change the colors to match your color uh, site. Going further, we have dark example. So dark scheme, dark theme, something which is very, very common recently. So uh, you have a lot of pages which allows you to switch your theme from dark to light uh, for people who are browsing your web uh, over the night. Mm -hmm. Then in case of um, very extended side navs like ours here, which has a lot of links over here. We have options to have inner scroll over here. So as you can see here, we have scroll. So we can scroll elements inside the, inside our uh, side nav. Uh, something which I personally really, really like. So slim example. So we can have um, this side nav, which can become much slimmer and we're gonna see example in a second and it can also collapse like the normal side nav so we have two options here right um, and we can use we can use it with some extra options which i'm going to show you in a second when we're going to move to api tabs so i'm going to show you what else we can do with this side nav going on we have accordion example so what's the difference between accordion is that only one category at the moment can be expanded and the other will automatically collapse while here we can have both category expanded at the same time so sometimes in some use cases you want to do that in other cases you also want to um, have options to group your uh, accordions so you want to have only one options uh, expanded at the time but within the category so this is one category and this is another category so or actually this is one group and this is another group so within one group we can have only one category expanded at the time and obviously if you want if you prefer to have this side nav on the right side of the screen obviously nothing stops you from that we have predefined we just need to set the one of the attributes to uh, right attribute to true and this will move your side nav to the right mm, side of your page and let's have a look at some uh, few examples some full screen examples so uh, this is the full screen right so this is the basic example with some content over here then 
we have a mode transition. So what does it mean? Uh, if we resize our window, at certain screen our side nav will disappear and the button to collapse will show, will, will appear. And if we change the size, it will again disappear and our side nav will remain open. Slim, so the one which I like very, very much, which I already told you. So, so this is a nice example of a very stylish page with very slim navigation and MDB navigation. So this is another option uh, of the navigation. So you combine side nav as well as nav bar, which is here. And obviously it's fully, fully responsive. So when we shrink our screen, it will get it will disappear and this button will show up. Okay, now let's move to customization. So we're gonna move to API, but in order to do that, obviously we need to have MDB. So in order to get your um, MDB, navigate to your orders, download MDB, unzip it and open in a text editor. So this is our starting pack and let's move to our docs and let's check our API tab. So uh, the basic usage, um, we can adjust almost any attribute uh, or any option of our side nav either using attributes like here. So here we have data color secondary or we can do it via JavaScript like here, so we need to get instance of our uh, side nav, or if you prefer to use jQuery, you can also do it via jQuery. Let me remind you that MDB5 and the Bootstrap 5, they don't use jQuery by default, but you can still uh, use it if you want. They're compatible with, um, with jQuery. So if for any reason you would like to still use jQuery, uh, you can, uh, you're free to do so. And in other case, you can still use uh, plain JavaScript or HTML attributes. So um, yeah, let's have a look at the, uh, the example. Uh, I'm gonna get some basic example. From here, I'm gonna copy this code, paste it here instead of our project, and let's open it in a browser. So here it is. And now let's change color. So I'm gonna copy this one. I'm gonna paste it over here. I need to check the ID because we're getting this element by ID name and the ID is side nav dash one. So I'm gonna update it. Okay, and let's have a look. So as you can see, the color has changed to orange. Now, there are obviously other options which you can change here. So, the one which already uh, discussed before, accordion uh, and some other. So I strongly encourage you to go through all of these options. Now you know how you can set them. Uh, so let's have a look at the one more. Uh, let's have a look at one more option. So I'm gonna use this slim uh, option. So I'm gonna copy. Please keep in mind that in case of more advanced side nav, you need to also copy JavaScript code, not only HTML. The, the basic example uses only HTML. So now let me get here. Let's remove this JavaScript. We don't need it anymore. And let's replace content over here. Okay, and we need also JavaScript. Let's copy this one. So this will make our, our side nav toggling. Okay, and now we want to add some nice feature to it. So let's go to API. And we want to uh, expand on hover. So let's do it. Let me copy this. Oh, we actually have slim instance already. So I can just do slim instance and we want to update this option which is called expand on hover and let's set it to 
true. And let's see if this works. Yeah, as you can see now, it will expand on hover. Um, and we can adjust to many, many other options like transition time, duration, width, height, and so on and so on. Next thing are methods, right? So um, these methods you can use if you want to pro programmatically uh, change behavior of your of your uh, side nav. So what we have here is toggle, toggle slim. So let's do it slim instance toggle. So as you can see, we can toggle it using JavaScript or we can toggle slim. And we can also toggle this option as well. And finally, we have events. So uh, there are certain events which are emitted, uh, which we can listen to while using side nav navigation. Um, and let's have a look at this, uh, at this example. So we have this side nav here. And let's do like this. So we have side nav. So document get along by ID, side nav four, add event listener and console log. So this should uh, we are missing. Uh, this is, uh, we are missing some thing here. No, no, it should work. So as you can see, this event is emitted uh, whenever a contents offset should be updated. Push side mode. Uh, so when we when we push our side nav, and obviously we have more. So you have show, shown, hide, hidden, and so on and so on. Uh, so you can listen to these events as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you find um, our side nav very easy to use. Uh, as you can see, we have a lot of examples predefined for you and they are, they are easily uh, customizable. So uh, it's fairly easy to create uh, the full navigation for your new project. If you have any questions, please do not um, hesitate to ask them either in the comments down below this video or on our support forum. And if you want to see more videos like that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.